So obviously, as we now know, Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois was announced a few days ago. And I'm now here to give a quick early prediction of how I think this fight would go. And if I'm being honest, looking at, well, really fully looking back into both guys' past fights, um, really looking at Daniel Dubois, especially in ways he could beat Joshua, I can't see it personally. I cannot see uh, uh, I, I cannot see Daniel Dubois beating Anthony Joshua. Dubois gets hit way too much. His defense is awful. If we're being honest, I rate Dubois's offense massively. I think he's accurate with his shots and picks his moments well. He's got a decent shot selection as well, Daniel Dubois. But I don't see him beating Anthony Joshua. No way, in my opinion. First of all, Joshua's got all the advantages coming into this fight anyway. He's the harder hitter, you know, got the longer reach. He's the quicker man as well. I think the advantages are all in AJ's favour. And second of all, just the way Dubois gets hit so much. I think Anthony Joshua is 100% the hardest hitter that Daniel Dubois is ever going to face probably and has faced so far. I, I And I don't see it ending well for Daniel Dubois. I was originally going with a late stoppage for Anthony Joshua, but I'm thinking mid rounds now i reckon possibly five or six possibly four or five where anthony joshua was able to get daniel dubois out to there i honestly feel like joshua can make a quick job out of this and show levels here to be fair and you know i like daniel dubois i i i, I do like daniel dubois i like how he's come back well redeemed himself well since um obviously him losing to sit then i'm obviously a big anthony joshua fan of course anthony joshua's well, he, he's the box that got me into boxing, uh, Anthony Joshua. So, you know, I'm always a big fan of Joshua. And, you know, I, I've watched AJ for years now, and I know for a fact he's not losing to Daniel Dubois. I don't think Dubois's got the style to beat Anthony Joshua. I think to beat Anthony Joshua, you know, you need to be someone like Alexander Rusik, have that good boxing IQ. Like, you know, I, I, I'm excluding the Ruiz fight here because... I think it was a massive off night for Joshua and Joshua was able to redeem himself in the rematch there. But, you know, if you've got a good boxing IQ like, like Usyk, you, you're a, you will be able to try and box around away Anthony Joshua. Dubois doesn't really have the greatest boxing IQ, if we're being honest. Joshua's boxing IQ has improved from what it was 100%. Um, and it, it would be interesting to see if someone could possibly test the chin of Joshua. I think Dubois got the power to do so, but I'm not sure if Dubois going to be able to pick his moments right. And that's because I think Joshua's footwork is better than ever. I think he moves around the ring well, he, uh, and, and he knows his way around the ring a lot better than he did um, uh, quite a bit ago. Like I think Derek James, when he when AJ was training with him. I think that's when Joshua's ring IQ itself um, improved. Obviously, are we in the prime years of AJ's explosiveness? I think that this will be a good fight to really tell us that. But I think Joshua, I think his explosiveness is going to still be there coming to this fight massively. And I think he's going to be able to get Daniel Dubois out of there pretty early on to the mid rounds, to be fair. I think Joshua is just too hard of a hitter for Dubois and the amount that, let's be real, if you go back and watch the Miller and Dubois fight, I remember going out to them thinking, oh, yes, those were class performances from Daniel Dubois. But the amount he got hit in those fights, Miller was able to rock Daniel Dubois a few times in there because he was able to catch him up, up. He was able to catch him out up close. Um, and then Hergovic as well. Hergovic was able to catch Dubois when he was walking in at times. And I think du I see Dubois walking into some big AJ right hand and Joshua will, is going to be able to get him out of there. I think Joshua is going to be quicker than him as well. And I feel like Joshua is going to be there setting up Dubois with the jab. And I feel like Dubois would be there for the taking. I feel like Dubois is going to be there for Joshua to tee up. And I don't see it being too difficult. Dubois hasn't really got any head movements, if we're being honest. He's got none at all. And I don't think Dubois has got a good enough high guard to keep Joshua away from him either. I think Joshua's the stronger guy as well. I see Joshua being able to get his way. Joshua's the physically bigger man than Dubois. And, you know, I think 
I see Anthony Joshua being able to jab their head off of Daniel Dubois, setting up that big straight right hand. Hooks are going to be coming in from Anthony Joshua as well. I see Joshua being able to get Dubois on the ropes a bit, tee off the jab, and eventually try and land a good few straight right hands, few hooks in there as well. And I see Joshua, you know, really going in with that jab to the body as well. That's what Joshua has liked in his last couple of fights against Otto Wallin. And we saw that get him some good success when he was going to the body against Wallin. Good jab to the body, then a straight right hand up top. You know, that that was getting success for Asia because his hands were uh, right now, his hand speed is very quick, Joshua. And I feel like that's something that AJ doesn't get enough credit for. And that is his hand speed. It is quick. AJ is quick with his punches and he's been going to be able to get quick in out of there as well. And I think Joshua, I, I think he's going to be able to take out Dubois and I don't think it's going to be too hard for him. I, I kind of see it going similar to how the Wallen fight did. I was originally thinking that Dubois could get the odd bit of success here, but I see it being really, really, really difficult for him, to be fair. I think it's going to be difficult for Dubois. I think Joshua is going to be a bit too quick for him um, overall. And, I, and Dubois, I don't think he's very good at seeing shots coming either. So I think AJ is going to bust him up. I feel like AJ is going to bust up his eye. And he's. I, I, I see him being able to get Dubois out there. He's going to bust him up. And I feel like AJ is going to break him down early. Then, then he's eventually going to get him out of there in those mid-rounds. That's what I think. I just think Dubois is too vulnerable, in my opinion. Dubois has got good offense, but he's got a habit of walking into shots to get to where he wants to be. And yes, you can get away with that against someone like Philip Hergovic. You can get away with that against someone like Jarrell Miller. But against someone like Anthony Joshua, you're not going to be able to get many chances to walk through the guy's shots. And I think that showed when he, uh, Dubois fought Joe Joyce. You know, Dubois was trying to, he, Dubois was walking to a lot of shots, and we saw the accuracy that J slow Joe Joyce was able to get on Daniel Dubois. And I know that was a few years ago now that uh, Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois fight, but, you know, Dubois' defense has not changed since that fight anyway, though. Like, yes, Dubois, uh, you, you know, his punch accuracy is better and he's throwing more. Um, uh, when he's going in now, but I don't see it being too much of a trouble for Joshua. I feel like Joshua's going to be able to set the pace for his jab, and I see Dubois walking into some stupid shots, in my opinion, where, you know, he's going to be vulnerable, he's going to, and, you know, he's going to get himself knocked out, in my opinion. He's there for a straight right hand. He's there, for, Dubois can be there for the taking against someone like Anthony Joshua. I think Joshua's got the perfect style to beat Daniel Dubois. I think Dubois basically tailor-made for Joshua. The guy's ridiculously stiff. He's static. And, you know, I do rate Dubois. His offense is good. He, good. He's a hard hitter and he is accurate. But he is static when he's coming in, though. And that's the thing. And you're not going to get away with that against Anthony Joshua. So I don't see Dubois winning it. And Joshua's, Joshua's better at uh, moving around the ring than what he uh, than, than what he was a few years ago as well. And that's only going to work in Joshua's favour even more. Joshua's a better boxer than he was, and he's still got that good explosiveness as well. And this is a big fight where Joshua can prove himself again and be world champ. But for Dubai, it's a big opportunity for him. But I think he's tailor-made for Joshua personally. So I don't see it being close. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching this video, Okay, I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.